In a town where scripts are bought and sold every day, NBA All-Star Weekend's final act was part paparazzi, part award-winning screenplay. Early on Sunday, though, some of the greatest to ever do it gathered together for a who's who of NBA royalty. My buddy Kenny Smith likes to say it's like opening up a, an old box of basketball cards and it comes to life. That's what this morning's all about. Legends past and present were on hand for the 12th annual NBA Legends Brunch. It's nice to, to see people I've played with, people I've coached, you know, and uh, get a chance to uh, go over some, some great memories. The older ones, the younger ones, we're all part of, part of that history. And we're all kind of like man and brothers, to be honest with you. See the league where it is today, it's amazing. Later in the day, with the sun finally shining in Los Angeles, celebrities and all stars alike share the magenta carpet as they enter the Staples Center. What they call it here? They said it's another name for it, right? Yeah, the magenta carpet. It's been crazy, it's been a lot of fun. It's been uh, non stop, but um, Go I'm really excited for this game coming up. Anticipation began to build, and East and West prepared to take center stage with a healthy mixture of young superstars and elder statesmen. You can see the light and the glamour. And you know, what's all the like, all-star game is about, and uh, it's definitely a true blessing to be here. In the West locker room, <laughs> them dudes, oh, them dudes probably in there sleeping. It's going to be a lot of jump shots and jump hooks. Yeah. <laughs> Continuing with the star-studded theme of this weekend, Grammy Award-winning artist Liddy Kravitz warmed up the crowd, and the game was officially underway. The East came out of the blocks charging, and it was a big man free-for-all. Amari Stoudemire, Dwight Howard, and Chris Bosh all showed some power around the rim, but the West would not be outdone. A pair of young stars from Oklahoma City helped turn the tide, and hometown hero Kobe Bryant, going for his fourth All-Star MVP award, wanted to remind fans that in spite of Blake Griffin's recent success, L.A. is still his town. At the break, the West led the East by 12 points. During halftime, Rihanna, Drake, and Kanye West brought the house down, but Kobe raised the roof right back up. In the second half, despite incredible play from LeBron James, who posted only the second triple-double effort in All-Star history, the East came extremely close, but could never quite close the gap, and that's how the West won. So whether you're a Lakers fan or Clippers fan, All-Star Weekend in Los Angeles didn't disappoint. Blake Griffin took home the Sprite Slam Dunk title on Saturday, and Kobe Bryant was awarded his fourth NBA All-Star MVP on Sunday. You want to know the influence of Blake. You know, look at all the dunks I had tonight. While there may be a changing of the guards at some point in Los Angeles, it hasn't happened yet. Wrapping up All-Star Weekend in L.A., I'm Kyle Montgomery.